The internet is a really big place. Have you ever been to a big concert? Um, I, I have maybe a few times in my life. And in that concert hall, in that concert stadium, there's maybe, I don't know, 10,000 people, let's say. All right. That's like more, there's like more people than I have personally spoken to for years and years, right? Like, like 10,000 people, it's like so many people. And then let's multiply this, okay? So imagine that giant concert stadium, okay? Multiply that by 10, you got 100,000 people. And then multiply those 10 stadiums by 10 again. So now you're multiplying that stadium by, by 100. That's uh, 10,000, 100,000, a million people. Now multiply that by another thousand. I mean, so it's the internet is mind bogglingly big. So many people. Internet has, by the way, 4.5 billion people on the internet. All right. And so among all those people, there are probably tens of thousands of people who would love you for just who you are. Now imagine that. Like that's not too many. So let's say, let's get to some, some real numbers here. And I'm gonna actually show you on my screen what that looks like, okay? I'm going to go to um, Facebook ads and I'm gonna show you how many people you could reach. And this is not gonna be a Facebook ads course. Uh, this is gonna, I'm gonna keep it really basic so that I don't lose you here. But I'm gonna show you worldwide, okay, worldwide, on Facebook ads, you can reach 2.1 billion people. Again, this is the people that have seen Facebook ads in the past 30 days. Imagine that. 2.1 billion people have seen some Facebook ad in the last 30 days. So you can reach them. 2.1 billion people. That's that's unbelievably large number of people. Now, let's say, well, you're not going to reach 2.1. You're not going to try to please 2.1 billion people. Let's just narrow it down to... English speakers, okay? So everyone who speaks English uh, in, in the world that you can reach through Facebook. That's 1.1 billion people. Now you've narrowed it down to half. Now let's go even further and let's say people who are interested in personal growth, spiritual growth, personal growth, let's say personal growth and development, personal development, okay? And then we'll, we'll add in a couple more um, people who are interested in self-awareness, people who are interested in mindfulness, people who are interested in... Um, meditation, uh, people who are interested in, uh, you know, uh, happiness, pretty broad, but emotional intelligence, let's say. Um, uh, yeah, anyway, I'll just, I'll just do it. Higher consciousness, great. You know, people who are interested in uh, uh, spirit, soul, it's very broad, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say those things thus far. So people are interested in one of these things. How many people could we reach? 260 million people, 260 million people worldwide English speakers who are interested in one of these personal growth, spiritual growth type of topics. All right, so I'm just gonna ask you this question. In a room, let's say you put 100 of these people in a room, just 100 of these random people worldwide English speakers of any age interested in one of these things. Put one of them in a room, all right? How many of those 100 people might be interested in your message? Now, let's say you, you work in personal growth. You might work in other things, but let's say you work in personal growth, spiritual growth type of stuff. Maybe 10 out of 100 of these kinds of people might be interested in your message. 10 out of 100, so that's 10%. That's 26 million people. Now, let's be really conservative and say one out of 100 one out of a hundred spiritually oriented English speakers in the world are interested in your message. One out of a hundred. That's still 2.6 million people. That, that's, you can't possibly serve that many people. That's only one out of a hundred. Now, if we narrow down even further, let's say even 200,000, then we'll narrow down even further. Because 200,000 now would be one out of a thousand spiritually oriented people in the world are interested in your message. It's pretty specific. Let's get even more specific. One out of 10,000 spiritually oriented people in the world are interested in your message and just the way you are. That's still 20,000 people who just would love you for who you are in the world that you can easily reach through Facebook ads.
do you see why I'm such a fan of Facebook ads? And also why so many people demonize Facebook ads that they've collected all this information on people to sell to advertisers. Guess who the advertisers are? Me. They've collected your information to sell to me. Okay. And yes, also the Russian propagandists and also, you know, uh, Walmart and, you know, all, all, all in between, every, everyone from a solopreneur like me all the way to Walmart is buying your information to advertise to you on Facebook. But it allows people like me to reach you, right? Otherwise, a lot of people have found, a lot of you have found me because of Facebook ads, because of this kind of thing. And the thing is, you can also reach all these people. Thank goodness for Facebook taking all that data and selling it to advertisers like us, like you, so that you can reach a bunch of people who might be interested in your message. So, so this, this video is going in a bit of a different direction than I expected. Uh, what I wanted to say really in, in this video is that because the internet is so big and because you could reach all these right people through, for example, Facebook ads or Google ads or uh, collaborations or search engine optimization, et cetera, because you could reach all these of the right people, your audience is going to be much bigger than your current audience if you do online marketing, okay? Your audience in the future will be much, much bigger than your existing fans, your existing network, people who know you already. Now, of the people who know you already, how many are your true fans? When I first got, when I, when I got started in the beginning, 10 years ago, right? 11 years ago now, maybe five people were my true fan, maybe three people. I really, as I put stuff out there, it's really my friends and family, most of them were not interested in what I was doing, okay? So maybe I got two or three people who were like, oh yeah, I'm really interested in what you're doing. I really like what you're about and I really like who you are. Just, I, I like your style. I like how, you, how the way you talk. I like the way you move your hands. I like the way you look. Your true fans like the way you look. They like the way you sound. They like the way you move your hands. They like the way you talk. They like the way you write. Those are your true fans. By definition, it's kind of like soulmates, except in, in, in terms of online marketing, you have tens of thousands of soulmates who love your message and who you are just the way you are. You can't make any mistake in front of them. I mean, you can try to make mistakes, but they don't care about your mistakes. They just really are into you. How many people are like that in your current audience? I had maybe two or three, maybe, if I, if I was being generous when I first got started but it was through collaborations. It was through things like Facebook ads that brought me many of you today who like me for who I am, like the way I look, like the way I sound, like the way I move my hands. I mean, not everything about me you love, but you like me enough to stick around and like my message and buy my courses and buy my books. And, you know, so I, I now have, I don't know how many of you there are in terms of my true fans, but at least dozens. Okay, let's say I'll be conservative. At least I have at least a couple dozen of you, right, who just like to just about everything I do. And I can't seem to make any mistake in your eyes that at least I haven't made any mistakes that, you know, I, I'm not polished. You know that. You know I'm not polished. I, I started this video thinking of one thing and totally went in a different direction, right? Now I'm back. I mean, I'm totally all over the place. I, I, I purposely try to be as unpolished as possible so that those of you who are more polished can succeed even greater than me. I try to be the lowest common denominator. I really do. That's why I don't have a nicer background. That's why I stopped doing my dog walk videos. Dog walk videos were more attractive, for sure. Being out in nature making videos is more attractive to all of you. I know that. But I'm trying to be boring now. I'm trying to be boring so that I can be the lowest common denominator so that you can do even greater things than me. That's just in case you didn't know, that's why I do this stuff. That's why my course platform is not fancy. That's why like, what, George, you host your courses on YouTube, on listed videos? What, you use Google Docs? It's not branded, it's not beautifully designed? What, you don't have a course platform that's just super easy? I try to do things so minimalist, minimalistically that I only have a few dozen true fans, but that's all I need. I have a six-figure business. I have, let me repeat that. 
I make more than $100,000 a year, and I've been doing that for 11 years. I have a six-figure business. I do, I do very well financially. And I have a couple dozen true fans. Okay, George, you're being harsh on yourself. You probably have a couple hundred true fans. Maybe I have a couple hundred true fans. I have, sure, on my Facebook page, I have 6,000 fans, but don't, not, not, that's not all true fans. A percentage of them are true fans, people who, who really like what I do, who, who like buy multiple things that I, that I put out there, who, who don't mind my unpolishedness, my minimalism, my mistakes, blah, 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 blah. blah. You can do even greater things because I bet you want to be more polished than me. Just about everybody who watches this wants to be more polished than George Cow. Like, oh, George is all over the place. He, he doesn't dress up. He, he, he's boring, boring background all the time. It's boring like this. But that's okay. I'm, I don't need all of you. I just need a few of you to have $100,000 a year business. You see? So you will do even greater things. And what I'm trying to say, I guess the, the real point of, the, of this message is that your current fans, like I said, when I first started 11 years ago, I had two or three of, of you who actually, I'll, I'll be honest with you. When I first started, nobody bought my stuff. Nobody, nobody from my friends and family bought my stuff. I had to do my first couple of collaborations before I found a couple of true fans who were like, who is this George Cow guy? And I want to buy his courses. And they started buying my stuff. So really in the beginning, no, none of my friends and family and colleagues were my true fans. None of them, none. Nobody bought my stuff who were my friends and family and, and colleagues. It's only through cold outreach to collaborators that I finally got a few uh, true fans who started buying my courses regularly. So you, maybe you're lucky. You already have some friends and family who buy your stuff. I don't know. But what I'm trying to say is that none, almost certainly none of your current friends and family and colleagues are your true fans. So why are you so afraid of their judgment? That was the punchline. I should have started the video like this. But like I said, I'm all over the place. I'm unpolished. I'm just, you know, I, I, I hesitate to use the word authentic in this case because authentic can be said as bad. It's also, you know, authentic can be defined as unprepared. And that's not what I'm trying to go for. Authentic can also be without guile, you know, not trying to manipulate, not trying to uh, put you into a funnel to, to buy stuff or whatever. But um, in this case, I'm, I am unprepared. I should have been better prepared for this talk. But, um, but that's the point. It's like, even when I'm unprepared, I can have a few true fans because that's the point is that your true fans don't need you to be all that polished. Your true fans need you to show up as who you are just with, with your our existing personality, yes, you'll prepare the material a little bit, but you don't have to be polished. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to memorize things. You can make mistakes on camera, live in front of them. It's okay. You can stutter. You can do whatever you want and your true fans will not leave you. That's the definition of true fans. You have probably, like I said, 20,000 of them out there on the internet. Out of 4.5 billion people, you probably have 20,000 true fans. So what are you going to do to find them? What are you going to do for them to find you? They're not your current people. Who cares if you offend your friends, your family, your colleagues, people who are existing who know you? They're not your true fans. Your true fans are in the future. They're much bigger than your current audience. So why are you so afraid to lose your current people? Because they're not your true fans. So don't be afraid to make content just as you are. Like I said, don't be as unprepared as me. But even if you were unprepared like me, you can have a $100,000 a year business. Would you like that? Right? That's what I mean. So it's the internet's just amazing. And Facebook ads is amazing. And, and collaborations are amazing. Like you just have to make content, be yourself. You don't even have to know your niche. And that's the other thing is I know some of you are just so stuck because you don't know what your message is. You don't know what your, who your target audience is. You don't know what you're supposed to talk about. You don't know what you're supposed to offer. It doesn't. Yes, of course it helps. It help, of course it helps. But it, even if you didn't know, you can still get out there and just be yourself and run Facebook ads and find people who just like who you are. That's the, the amazing brilliance of the internet and online marketing. You just have to get out there. Now, if you don't have money for Facebook ads, you don't have money for $200 a month of Facebook ads, or what, it's okay. Just do collaborations then. 
collaborations with other people who have an audience, right? Or work on search engine optimization or work on other marketing methods that show you be, where you can be visible to others uh, who might like your message. Like I said, might. And then some of those people who might like your message will really love who you are and just be who you are. It, it doesn't, you don't have to be a celebrity. They will like you better than like, they like Eckhart Tolle. They will like you better than they like Brene Brown. They will like you better than they like Tony Robbins, Marie Forleo. You name all the, they like you better. Why? Because it's just the magic of energy signature. It's just the magic of life, how some people just like you better than they like anybody else. Not that they like you better for everything, but they like you better for whatever you talk about, whatever you want to talk about, whatever you're passionate to talk about. They like you the best for that. So get out there. Don't be afraid. Not, don't care about your current people. Don't, when, you make, when you're afraid to make content, whose judgmental look are you thinking? Are you, look, are you looking at the judgmental look of your mom or the judgmental look of your classmate or the judgmental voice of your aunt or your uncle or your you know, acquaintance? or who, who, Whose judgment are you afraid of? Whose comment are you going to be like, but yes, I disagree with you because who, whose comment are you afraid of? Well, that person is not your true fan. So why are you making content? Like, don't, don't care about them. Let them make their stupid comments. Let them make their judgmental comments. They're just showing themselves to be judgmental people. That's all. If whoever judges you on content, they're, they're, they're judging. They're showing the world what an unsupportive person they are. That's all they're doing. You are just busy making your content for your future true fans who are looking for you, who can't wait to find you, who can't wait to see you. Why, why are you caring about what your uncle says or what your friend says, what your mom says, what your classmate says, or whoever says, they don't disagree with you. I think you're wrong. Have you thought about this? Who cares about them? It's, it's, you're not making stuff for them. You're making content for their, your soulmates who are looking for you. They, they're like, when am I going to find that person whose content I love about this topic, your topic, whatever thing you talk about. So make your stuff for them, all right? I hope this helps. And uh, I'll let you make any comments you want below while I go. And you know the drill by now. If you've watched my videos, I give you a chance to make a comment while I look for the comments of any of the live Facebook live people who are here. And so give thanks. I'll just be silent while you make your comment. All right, so uh, I see the comments here from Heather, thank you, and Tanya, and Captain, thank you so much. I really appreciate your, uh, your presence. Patricia, and Tom, and Kim, Arturo, uh, Tiffany, thank you all for being here. And uh, Tanya says, I, I love how unpolished you are. It gives me the freedom to just be myself. Don't need a fan. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yes, it, you know, this is just my second bedroom. I mean, you can be anywhere. I mean, yes, I try to set things up so at least it's a little bit not, not as messy, you know, just clean up just a little bit. That's all you need to do, right? Um, and uh, let's see, Captain says, says it actually helps to see you this way. No excuses for us. Yeah, thank you. That's exactly it. Exactly it. So that's, that's what I, that's why I do this stuff. I try, like, like if, you know, if I were trying to be like Marie Forleo, or Tony Robbins, I would be exhausted. I'd be like, I can't, I can't. I don't have a million dollar house with an infinity pool that I can make videos in front of, okay? I don't have, you know, I, I don't have, you know, like an amazing physique or whatever. Like, I can't be Tony Robbins. I can't be Gary Vaynerchuk is traveling around the world, showing off his wonderful trips. And he's not trying to show off, by the way. But, you know, you could, it, I don't have any of that. I just, you know, I make good money, but I don't, you, you couldn't tell that I make good money, right? Like you just buy this, what I, sh anyway, the, the main point is you can be yourself. <laughs> the true fans are waiting for you. I'm going to stop this now so that you can <laughs> go and make your content to be with your true fans. All right. I wish you well. Take care.